So the first thing you need to do is actually have source filmmaker. It's gonna take about a couple hours to actually get. I was just playing on it for about an extra four hours so I can get this video up. Okay, so what we wanna do is launch. Wow. How to wait for that. Sorry about the background noise, but anyway. By the way, uh I'm actually editing this video as I go. Anyway, let's get back to this. So once this is opened, good job, you've done correct. So just name this whatever you want, I don't really care. You don't have to name it crap, but you can name it something whatever. You don't have to see that. Okay, now, uh, I'm not signed in online because Steam is being a little crap here. But anyway, once this, once this is fully popped up, actually, hold on, let me, this is how it's actually going to start up. It's going to start up like this. Okay, can I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? No, just keep, keep it. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it. So, you start off like this. So, what you want to do is to get the two. You press Windows, and you press Secondary View. Okay, so, for more is being a to me. What you want to do is take the secondary port and put it right in this way. And then you'll like make it even or something. Yeah, there you go. If that's not very even, but still. And then what you want to do is you want to right, either right click and press the road map, or you can do Control L. And that pops up. Okay. okay, now what you want to do is open up one of your maps. Now, I'm not just going to open up some TF2 map. I actually have my own maps. Well, they're not mine. I have like Undertale maps, theater maps, green screen maps. You didn't have to see that one. Ruins, Undertale. Wait, I have two maps of Undertale? I didn't even know that. I get the Freddy's map I usually use myself. This is nighttime pizzeria, daytime pizzeria, and FNAF 1 map. I usually use this one all the time. So then, we just gotta wait for it to load. Okay, now that your map is open, you can use, use, you can use, you have to click, hold down the click button, and then what you want to do is you want to use WASD to move. So click WASD. And now you gotta just move to where you want to go. Now, once that you found your spot, what you want to do is go over here, press that, go to change scene camera, hit new camera. And now this one could be a work camera, so you can get out of camera and change something. So, like, alright, so let's get something. Uh, I'm just going to use this function for no reason. Oh. Now, instead of me moving the camera, I go over here. And, uh, what you want to do is, you, you want to, oh, oopsies, okay, what you want to do is instead of you moving that camera, you move your work camera, and you press graph editor, or you can press
Hi, I am Foxy. Hi, Hi, I am Foxy. Hi, I am. Oh my God! Wow, I can't. Where was? Oh my. When? Where was? Hi, I am Foxy. Hi, I am Foxy. Foxy. Hi, I am Foxy. Hi, Foxy Foxy I am Foxy I am Foxy. 
Hi, I am Foxy. Hi, I am Foxy.